and Philip, you know, um, fall in love. And it's basically, you know, it's it's always, it's that kind of that tragic love story in a sense of like, there's always the factor of them not being able to be together because of literally the color of their skin. You know, at the time that, that was 120% not allowed. Um, and it was in fact very dangerous. Um, so the entire time, you know, they're exchanging just looks. They don't even touch each other, they just look at each other. And um, even that is like hard for, for them to do, especially her because she knows, she's lived this her whole life is, you know, um, having to deal with racism, having to deal with that in her face, because as you know, as a black woman at the time, and so she's she's used to this. This is not something that is uncommon to her. So she's trying to, everything in her mind is telling her that that's a bad idea. It's dangerous, it's wrong, it's, you know, uh, it goes against everything that she's been taught, and, but she's slowly falling in love with the exact thing that she always thought hated her. I think Hugh is perfect for this because he's so passionate about it. You know what I mean? Like the passion that he has for the project, I think, is the same passion that P.T. Barnum had for his circus. You know, he literally made this movie happen. He's wanted to create it and make it happen. And that's exactly what Hugh did is he made this. It, we wouldn't be here if he hadn't put all his love and energy into the project, you know, from the very beginning all the way through. And so to see him be so passionate about it makes everybody else on set want to work even harder. I know that there's a young woman or a young man who is going to hear this song and is going to need need it, need to hear this is me, need to hear that, you know, I'm brave, I'm bruised, I'm who I'm meant to be. Somebody needs to hear those words, you know, and, and, and feel bigger and feel um, like they're a part of something. And so I, I just I just find it really cool.